Hello, Gemini. How are y'all doing today? I got moisture all on my thing. Hope y'all are doing well today. It's time for your beginning to mid-August reading of this current year. Yes. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So check your charts, y'all. Resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. After all, it is just a card game. Doesn't work if you do not believe in it. Or it does, and then like it just freaks you out. One of the two. Really doesn't matter, right? So, Gemini, we're going to see what's going on with you. Welcome to Leo season. It's going to be a good season. I'm probably going to do an extra for Leo. Just so you know. Let's see what's going on with you guys for this month. Let's see what's happening. Hmm. Gemini, so far we have a lot of fucking fighting and someone just sucking the life out of a fucking tree. Okay, that sounds about right. Using alchemy to try to get something out of something that's already dead, more than what you already did. Lots of squabbling. Fears or rejections, is that, well, that could easily be your card, but it's also like a separation from someone um, you are connected to or are connected to. Could be a soulmate, could be um, counterparts, twin flames, whatever you want to call it, really. Which, you know, I kind of agree with, like, she do tarot, or, or she calls herself the woke therapist now, which is like, yeah, she can own that word. I, I don't I don't like the word woke. It's like, you know, I like Capricorns are woke, but we make, you know, like fear based decisions on a regular. So take that in mind. <laughs> woke just means that you're awake. That doesn't mean that like, you know, but that's on her. I like her, though. But she it, but I like her. Like, I'll, I'll tell you one thing, man. If you want love advice, go to a Taurus because they will tell you outright. Taurus is basically like the Aphrodite of the freaking Zodiacs. The situation is you're kind of hiding for some reason. Try, probably trying to figure things out while you're in the dark. The obstacle and challenge coming against you is trying to figure out what to do. You don't know what your options are. What's going around, coming around, what's making this shit come full circle is the Eight of Wands. You're waiting for a message in order to take action. But this could also be you. Gemini with the Knight of Swords. Also Libra and Aquarius. Someone riding away from conflict, not trying to actually, um, I'd say confront an actual argument here. I'd say that there are, um, people, I, I feel like you're trying to stay away from shit, or stay away from conflict. Or you're going around talking shit about somebody, but you're not actually going up to them telling them what your problem is. It could be that, too. You know. Hmm, Gemini, interesting. I'll, yeah, like there's everybody fighting for this goal, but they're too busy fighting to go to the goal, right? And that's got you feeling like you need to isolate yourself in, in order to figure out what to do. Now it's like you wanna get something out of whatever is dead, like using spell work or whatever, like alchemy, like this person's doing. Um, may causing the tree to bleed, but it's producing the fruit you want it to produce. It's just like, your magic's working, but how long is that going to work? Then your fear is like, a door's closed in your face by the universe. <laughs> and you don't realize it, so you're kind of waiting for a message. That's kind of fucked up. Like, you don't even know the door is closed. That sucks. Oh well. That's, that's usually how shit happens, though, it seems like. Did you know Donald Trump's a Gemini? I didn't know that. Like, at all. Kind of flew me under the... <laughs> kind of threw me under the bus when I found that out. I was like, really? That explains a lot. That only reminds me of my older sister. <laughs> Let's see. Um, all of this fighting, man, wh whoever is in the midst of the fighting, possibly you or a person you're dealing with, they're just like, you know what, I I'll just chill outside. Which kind of makes sense. They actually moved into the gutter of the Undercities. Um, they'd rather just be in the dark and see how things play out, which I think is reasonable. You know, I wouldn't want to stick my neck out there either if everyone's swinging a fucking stick, you know? But we got the hermit down here, and someone is isolating themselves in dark places, right? Um, trying to, um, sacrifice a cup. Hmm. 
Two seconds. It's like, um... It is like... There was a third party or some shit, and now someone's, like, giving that third party up. Or they've decided to give the third party up after being the hermit for so long. Just to sacrifice to keep the two cups that they do care about, I think. You know, it's kind of funny, really. Like, I actually had a friend who was a um, Gemini Cancer cusp. Don't know what the fuck happened to him, but, you know, like, a friend of mine, like, he went nuts for some reason. And my friend Lisa, like, he, for some reason, wrote, like, who else wants blocked? You know, as if, like, you know, anyone's ever done anything to be blocked by him or whatever, but one of those really dramatic people, right? And, like, my friend Lisa had <laughs> put an emoji down with the hand raised, being like, I do, and he blocked her. <laughs> And it was just like, damn, man. It, it was kind of an interesting thing, because I don't think he was expecting that, um... It's almost like... Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like someone volunteered the cup to be given away. Because, you know... Someone was too busy, like, like being combative. And decided to put themselves on the cold. To understand that, you know, like, hey, you kind of gave something up here. Like, not that my friend Lisa, like, sacrificed anything, but the dude that, like, blocked her and me, like, he was the one who sacrificed it. Like, just gave away cups because, you know, it was easier than, like, dealing with, like, the issues that, like, he was in denial of. Now, this Seven of Pentacles, right? Someone's trying to use magic to make a dead tree grow pentacles. Now, the thing about it is, like, yeah, the tree's bleeding, but eventually if this person keeps using their magic over and over again, what's going to happen is, like, the blood won't belong to the tree, but it'll actually belong to the person doing the magic, and they won't notice it because it's going to be a subtle change. It's not to that point right now, but still, it's like... It's beginning to get there. And they want to do this because they want to tempt somebody to come the fuck outside. Huh. Like, they want someone to pop out. Like, someone's got their defenses up, and they're trying to get them to come out. This could be you, or it could be someone doing this to you, Gemini. But someone's trying to tempt you to let your guard down. Or someone's trying to tempt somebody to let them go their guard down. Like, someone's practicing magic to make that happen. Which, you know... I went on a whole spiel earlier when I was reading about some magician that's been fucking with everybody. I think I think everybody has some crazy ass magician who has no idea what they're doing, interfering with their bullshit. And I think this is the same thing, Gemini. Now the obstacle and challenge coming against you is your indecisiveness right here. Oh, okay, well, two cards just flew like a motherfucker. Um. Like, do you want to be responsible, be in charge, or are you just going to drop that shit? And, like, not really take any control of anything, because wanting to be childish. Could definitely be an Aries involved here, also Leo or Sagittarius. Like, the choice is you could either drop your shit like a child, or you can actually, like, stand up and, like, do the right thing and, like, be in charge and decide shit properly. Like, very, very, um conflicting ideas. It's like someone wants the control, but they don't want the responsibility. But at the same time, they want the responsibility, but they don't want to be in charge. Yeah, your indecisiveness is kind of going to cause disaster. So That's nice. Not really. Like, that was sarcasm. It's like the, the indecision is what causes disaster to come even quicker with the Eight of Wands. And, which is interesting because the Eight of Wands is right here. It's like... It's, you, like... I don't know. It's like too conflict... It's like conflicting again. But that, that happens with you guys like all the time anyway with my readings. But it's very conflicting. It's like you're waiting for something to come up so you can take action. 
but it's your lack of making a decision that's causing action to come up, just not in a good way. Not in, like, the best way that, like, it could, anyway. Let's see. Four of Wands Reverse. Yeah, it's like someone just, like, it's like sticking your foot in your own mouth with somebody, whoever you're dealing with. It's like they kept fucking up, and they kept doing shit, and then, like, they had to go in the hiding to realize what it was they actually sacrificed. Not realizing, like, the position they put them in that they feel so comfortable about um, is what's causing the conflict to begin with. It's just like they don't want to fight for what it is they want to do. So they end up being, so they kind of end up doing the exact same shit over and over again. Now, the reason why there's this separation, this fear and rejection with the Four of Wands, that could easily be you as well, Gemini. The fear is, like, this is a separation because someone was completely unfair and it bit them right in the ass. Like, they were so controlling about what was and wasn't fair that the town made a mutiny against this dude. Like, so creepy. So creepy. Like, a really not good person. Um, like an abuser who just got abused themselves because people had enough. Let's see. And the beginning as well as the ending, what started this shit and what's making it come full circle. Eight of Wands, once again. It's like someone's waiting for a message. Or someone's waiting for some information to come so they can know whether or not they can, uh, you know, harvest their shit, right? The message is, is that no one, they, that there's nothing to fight for. Or this person over here doesn't have any passion for fighting with the five of wands. Ah! That's interesting. So it's like someone... Okay, wait, hold up, Gemini. Okay, let me look at this correctly, right? Somebody went out in the cold and made themselves comfortable in order to avoid the conflict, but then they understand that there was a message that, like, nobody was really interested in the conflict in the first place. Like, the person who's hiding from the conflict had more interest in being volatile than the person who's not, does no reason to fight. Huh. That's how it's... D d d d d. <laughs> like, there's a lot of... Wow, okay. That's five... No, that's three fives, too. Hmm. Three... Couple threes. Couple eights. Damn, dude. What's the ending theme here? Queen of Pentacles right here. Reverse. Little Miss Fanny Mae, as I named her. Because I love her. Fanny Mae. Look at that cute little fucking dress. I love her. She's like, I want to look like her. She's so adorable. <laughs> I love how the Queen of Pentacles looks in this deck. That's what I absolutely love about it. It's just like, I'm adorable. But yeah, it could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, she's not in the mood for bullshit, so she took off. That's what it is. Like, she just became all metal. She's just like, you know, like could be an unfaithful spouse or a demanding mother, but it's kind of like, you know, I feel more like she was frustrated and not putting up with shit. She was just like, you know what, I'm leaving all this bullshit. I'm not even going to fight. And I think that's what this all revolves around. It's like, there's somebody, either you or the person you're dealing with, Gemini, it's just they're frustrated, they're irritated, they don't want to deal with this shit, and they just ran away from battling this bullshit. Meanwhile, the other person was just like, oh, well, I'm just gonna stay out in the cold and, like, I'll avoid the fighting. But it, it was the avoidance that happened to make it really clear that, like, not fighting was sacrificing something they loved. Only for them to end up that, like, find out that the person didn't think that it was worth fighting for to begin with at that point. It's like, whoever this green guy is, dudes... This was the person who, like, I feel like 
went out in the cold instead of actually fought for what they wanted to do. Trying to tempt somebody to come out instead because they were too indecisive to figure it out themselves. Because I can't tell if this is you or somebody else, Gemini. But this person's got all the passion. This person really doesn't. And it's like they're not going to fight. And it's like somebody's waiting for a message to actually know this. They just don't know that that's the issue. Like, no passion whatsoever with battling. Let's draw your three cards for each row, and then we're done, Gemini. I think you're the longest I've done so far, because this actually piqued my interest a little bit. Let's see. Um, you did want some, to invest in a business somewhere, or get your money going in order to be a businessman of sorts. Like, there's still potential in this, but it'd be more on a professional rather than a more friendly or f informal kind of thing. Um, someone was just like, fairness be, justice be damned, really. Um, that was how someone felt. It is like, you know, like there is a, 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 a sort of a, um, like the, like the judge... Yeah, they threw the scales and stuff and the sword over it, just being like, fuck it. Justice is whack, yo. Or someone was obsessed with justice. Could be Libra as well. Um, someone was obsessed with justice to a point, to a fault. You know, like, oh, this isn't cool. I don't like that you're doing this. This is completely unjust. You know, you know, like, justice and fairness are a very weird fucking combination that people always get mixed up. Kind of like with judgment and assumptions. It's like, just because something is fair does not mean you can justice, and just because you can justify something doesn't make it fair. And it's like, in all of this, it's like someone just didn't give a fuck about what was just. They just threw that shit behind them, be like, oh, well, it'll get figured out, and then just fell on the floor or whatever. Last row. Oh. And the reasons for this separation are clear as fucking day. Could be you right there, Gemini. You might not want this relationship back, honestly. You might be the one who's, like, leaving in order to avoid all of this confrontation and leaving the other person wondering where the fuck you are. Because it's like, Ugh, like, I thought you were supposed to fight for me! Thinking that it's a fair thing or the right thing for you to do to come to them about... Resolving the conflict. You might be the one actually like trying to stay away from this shit because it's like not good for you Which I completely understand. I don't blame you guys but That is your reading Gemini. Thanks for watching this video And if you enjoyed it, you can like share subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course um, If you want a personal reading just hit me up in my email Everything you need to know is in the description box as well as the playlists and streams that I use for the background please try to take care of yourselves because i feel like whoever this person is who like wants you to come in and fight for them um is probably going to get like really irritated when they realize you're not going to do that and probably start fucking with you i'm just like that's that's what i'm getting just because justice is shadow side right here it's just like the scales have been thrown over Like, this person just was too busy justifying to understand what justice was. That's your reading. I will see you guys later. Please be careful and take it easy. Bye-bye.